I'm telling you, you should probably believe what Coach Schmetting is saying because let's look at the tail of the tape. These Vikings deserve some credit. They're averaging right around 300, or excuse me, 438 yards and 41 and a half points per game on offense. The latter of those numbers actually ranks 14th in the FCS. They also have a top 10 scoring defense, and they can get after the quarterback. On the flip side, Boise State ranks 18th in the FBS in total yards per game. But you can see 84th when it comes to scoring. That means that the Broncos are moving the ball awfully mm -hmm. well. But they got to get something figured out inside the red zone. And coming up on the Bronco Roundup Game Day Show, we're going to have more on that. Absolutely. Getting back a little bit to Portland State, one thing that is on Jeff Schmetting's mind tonight is Portland State quarterback Davis Alexander. Talked about him at length this week mm -hmm. when previewing the opponent. Said Alexander loves to extend plays with his feet, so Boise State's got to have good discipline on the defensive line as well as in the secondary. Yeah, there's a lot of fun connections in this game, by the way. You bring up the first name Davis. Well, uh, Portland State also has a wide receiver that goes by the name <laughs> Davis Cutter, and, Cutter, and uh, that's actually the son of Boise State's former head coach, Dirk Cutter, so kind of cool. And just to take you one step further, Coach Harson's son, his name is Davis. Davis. <laughs> I, I guess it was a popular name at some point in time <laughs> back then. Pretty cool, though. Absolutely. And come to think of it, I don't really know too many Davises I don't. besides those two that you yeah. just mentioned. Yeah, yeah. I, I like it, though. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, you can see the Broncos, or excuse me, Albertson Stadium starting to fill up slowly but surely. The reason why, though, is there's a lot of fans outside in the parking lot, and that's where we find our Larry Gebert. Hey, thanks a lot, guys. And yeah, we are out here in the tailgate area of the parking lot and making new friends. Uh, Michael McKnight, yes. uh, Dave Bollard, right? Yeah, um, and, and, and friends, right? Yeah, are, these now, are, are these all friends of yours? They're all great friends. Yep, all absolutely. Great friends. Yep. Does anybody admit to being his friend? No. 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 Does anybody, does anybody you, you, you do. You're his friend. I love the guy. You're his friend. All right, good. So, all right, one. That's not bad out of, uh, out of eight. That's pretty good. We're That's pretty good right. odds. Pretty I'll good, take right. it. Yep. So it, you're a huge fan fan of Boise State? Yes, absolutely. Wearing a Cougars shirt. <laughs> yes, Cougs are number one. They will win. They will get into the playoffs so, so, this year. So yeah, absolutely. Why are they number one in your heart? Uh, because Coach Leach is the best coach in the country. Well, you know, there are those who would, there are those who would definitely disagree with that. I mean, they, I think Brian Harson is a much better coach, right? Oh, yeah. 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 So, the, I'm sorry. Afraid the majority rules here, right? Hey, tonight, do you know anything about Portland State? Absolutely. Yeah. know? I know that they cannot run the ball. Yeah. They have a horrible O-line, and we'll run it down the throats all night. All right, good. All right. I got to step back here, talk with Dave for a second. Thank you very much. All right, Dave, I see you're gathering friends as, as oh, well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, very much. Is this one your wife? It is. It is. Are you willing to admit that? No. No, I don't think so. I love this plausible deniability every time that it comes out. All right. You got... Ask me about po Portland State. I'm, okay, I'll ask you about how, Why do you know about Portland State? Pokey Allen used to be there. That's why I know Pokey Allen. Yeah. I mean, I knew Pokey Allen, you knew Pokey Allen. Yeah. yeah we, all, we all knew Rode a horse down yeah. Broadway. Yeah, yeah. No, that's well because he actually said that if the team was to yeah. get enough people in the stadium, he would actually ride a horse down. Broadway. That is true. Yeah. No, I remember that. I was actually there when he actually said yeah. that, which was fun too. So listen, how many years have you been coming to these games? Uh, we've been season ticket holder since 1984. Wow. I mean, that goes back to 1984 when even Blue Turf then, was it? No, it was not. Because that came in a few years later. 87. Yeah, yeah I remember that. Yeah, I've, I've been coming here since 83, so okay. yeah, I got you by at least that much. Well, yeah. Yeah, so. I graduated in 84, 84 and then as yeah. soon as I graduated, became a season ticket holder. Oh, my gosh. So if I said the name Jeff Caves, you know who I'm talking oh, about. Yeah. Do you remember him from 84? I do. I do, too, I do. because that was when I first met yeah. him as a player. I interviewed him way back when. All right. We got to have a go Broncos. Ready? Go Broncos! Nice. All right. Let's go back to the guys inside the stadium with all the news. Oh, thanks a lot, Larry. We appreciate it. Uh, again, you can feel the energy picking up here at Albertson Stadium. I think that uh, a, a guy that is quickly becoming a fan favorite, and mostly it's because of the position that he plays, but it's also how he plays the position is Hank Bachmeyer. Ah, uh, takes hits left and right, a little more than probably the Boise State coaching staff liked early on in this season, but he bounces back every time, shows poise, toughness, incredible skill talent well above his years. Yeah, he's also not afraid of the big moments in, within each and every football game. Take a look at this. 
because the true freshman has been absolutely money on third downs. Hank leads all FBS quarterbacks with 265 yards passing on third down. He also ranks number one in the entire country in both first down completions on third down and completions of 15 or more yards on third down. Okay, how about this? His third down QB efficiency rating is also top 10 in the FBS. And I wanted to point out one more thing. 87% of his completions on third down result in a first down. That to me shows awareness because when he's putting the ball in the air, he knows where the sticks are. He's getting what he needs to in order to move those sticks. No doubt these are impressive numbers, but there is still room for Hank to grow along with the rest of the offense.